This tutorial will show you how to create a helix using the coil tool found at the top left of the screen in Inventor. I'm going to start by creating a 2D sketch on an appropriate work plane. To create a helix, we must create a center axis and a closed profile. To create the center axis, I'm going to select line and then select center line. I'm now going to draw my center axis. I want to create a helix that looks like a spring. So I'm going to select circle as my closed profile and dimension this from the center axis. I can now finish sketch and you can see I've created a closed profile. So that is a sketch with no gaps and a center axis. I can now create the helix through using the coil tool. You can see from the dialog box here that I'm asked to select profile and axis. The profile will turn blue once selected. I can now click axis in the dialog box and choose my center axis, which will also turn blue once selected. And you can see here how one coil has been created. The dialog box allows you to change the rotation of the coil. I can also change the direction that it goes along the center axis. I can change it to upwards or downwards. Now I'm going to change the pitch and revolution by selecting the coil size tab. The pitch is the height between each coil. The revolutions is how many times it goes around the center axis. So I've changed that to five. You can also add a taper. You can add a positive taper or a negative taper, depending how you wish for it to angle. I'm going to keep mine at zero so there is no taper applied. Now I'm going to select OK and you can see that the sketches have now turned into a 3D model. And that is how to use the coil tool to create a helix in Inventor.